In this tutorial number 9, I want to show how to visualize or create vector of an atom with the Vista software. We will consider the example of magnetic nickel oxide which shows antiferromagnetic properties. Open the Vista software, then go to the file, click on open. And here I have a nickel oxide CIF file downloaded from COD website. If you are new to my channel then do check out my previous video in which I have shown how to download CIF file and also how to get the Vista software. The links are given in the description box. So select the nickel oxide CIF file, click open. So here we will see the unit cell of nickel oxide. And here I don't want to see this uh, bond. So what I can do is like go to the edit and over here click on the bond. So here we can find the bond between nickel and oxygen. So delete this part and OK. So this way we can remove the bond. Now. If you want to assign the name, so this is nickel and this is oxygen, how to know this one? Check this box which is which help to represent the label for the nickel and oxygen. Now go to the edit and here you will find the option for the vector. So click on this one, a new window will pop up. So let's first move this little bit up, okay. So we can see a new window. In this window on the left hand side you will see the number 1 and 2 which is labeled oxygen and nickel and has a Cartesian coordinate of 0.5 and 0. This is phase 1 with the nickel oxide and this is crystallography side. If you go to the individual atom then you will see the list of atom over here. It includes both nickel and oxygen. So we have to apply filter by state, by element, by site. So select the element and choose the nickel. And I want to assign spin or vector to this nickel atom. On the right hand side, you will see another window. Click on the new, and it will a new window will pop up. Here, type is axial vector or polar vector, and then radius. Let's set it to 0.2. And here you will find the vector component. So lattice vector notion UVW or a modulus along crystallography axis, reciprocal lattice or Cartesian vector. So let's set this as Z111, okay. So this UVW111 means the, the direction of the vector will point along the 111 direction. If you set it as 100, it will point along the x-axis. If you set it 010, then it will point along the y-axis. If you set it 001, then it will point along the z-axis. That is the C-plane. Anyway. Then third is a modulus which is right now 7.22 and on this left hand side you will see the option for the penetrate atom and add atom radius to the vector modulus. So just check this box penetrate atom and the last option is for color. So you can assign a particular color for individual atom. So right now what I did is just change the radius and also I put the UVW. So it's 1, 1 and 1 and then click OK. So it will help you to create the vector. Now let's select the atom. So this atom has a XYZ of 0, 0, 0 and in the unit cell it is located over here. If you select another atom, it's located over here. Okay. So for this atom, I want to assign this vector. So how to do that one? Just select the atom, select the vector and click on the set. Right now we will see this, the length of vector is too long. So how to reduce that one? You can change the scale factor for modulus. So let's set it as 0.12. Okay, uh, we can choose the arrow. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, okay. So this is the origin point zero zero zero, and we now we have already created a vector for this atom. Now let's select the second atom. So this atom Cartesian coordinate is zero zero one. So that means this is along the C axis. But as I shown here, the, the next neighbor atom is pointing in opposite direction. So that means we need to have a, a vector which has a direction opposite to this vector. So for that we need to click on again new and this time we need a vector with a direction minus one, minus one and minus one. That is a UVW and radius again change to 0.2. And remaining things are same. We need to change the color. So instead of red, this time is a blue. Select OK. Okay. 
Now select this vector, select the atom and do the same thing. Click on set. Okay, you can see the arrow with the blue color pointing in opposite direction to the red one. Now select the atom 3. This atom 3 is at the top. This is 0, 1, 0 which is next to the next neighbor of nickel. So it should have a direction in opposite to this one. So that should be the blue one set again. Okay. So now we need to re repeat the same thing again and again. So this should be red. The last one should be red. Okay. So click OK. Now we need to draw a plane. Okay. So how to do that one? Go to the edit. And over here you will see option for the lattice plane. Click this box. A new window will pop up. Click on new. And here we can see a plane in 100 direction, right? But we need a plane with HK lock 111, right? 111. Cool. And uh, if so, this distance is the D value. So let's set it to 1. Okay. So this value is 0, then is a 1, this is a 2, and then the last one is a 3. So D value is 1, 2, 3. That's the distance from the origin. Now create a new plane. And for this, the blue one, it should be over here. So the D value for this is 3. Okay. One more plane. Now this time, D value is 0. And the color of plane is red. You can set the transparency by tuning this number. Okay. Then one more. And this time D is 2. Okay. Yeah. So in this way we can create the unit cell of nickel oxide with a vector and also the plane. I think it looks beautiful. So you can set the position. Okay. This is how I want to show it. If you want to include the axis, then you can use this arrow pointing toward left. Move it a little bit. So we have a compass and also the unit cell. Then go to the file and click on the export raster image. So this is nickel oxide and the PNG file format. You can have you can choose various file format. I want to choose PNG file format because it allows me to export the image with a transparent background. So click on save replace scale so you can give the scale 1 to 5 whatever you want higher the scale higher the resolution but the size will be bigger so let's set 3 and let the background be transparent so click ok now let's go to the download and this is the NIO PNG so this is nickel oxide unit cell with the compass magnetic structure and the background is trans if you want to save this file you can just click on the file and save as so it's only NIO magnetic and save replace so even if you close it and just go to the folder where so this is magnetic and open it okay i hope through this video you may have learned how to generate a vector for an individual atom and also how to create a magnetic structure also how to draw the plane if this has helped you anyway then do like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon button